With Office 365 and Information Rights Management, you can set permissions on your emails or Office files to help keep company data secure. I'm going to show you how to apply an Information Rights Management policy to an email in Outlook. First, open a new message window. Then, select the File tab from the ribbon, and from the Info pane, select the drop-down labeled Set Permissions. These policies are set by your IT administrators who need to set up information rights management for you to be able to use it. I'm going to choose the do not forward option. Outlook will let me know what this policy entails and I can hit the back arrow to return to my message. Outlook will again let me know at the top of my message that my policy has been applied and which permissions it will restrict or allow. I'm going to send this to myself so we can see how a message that's been sent with restrictions looks when it arrives in your inbox. I'm also going to send it to a Gmail account so we can see how it appears when looked at by a non-Outlook or external user. Here's the message I've just sent and this red icon here indicates that this message has been received with restrictions. Since I'm the one who sent this message, I would still be able to forward it. But if you tried to forward a message you received with this policy applied, you would get a pop-up dialog box letting you know that this action is not allowed. Information Rights Management can also stop recipients from taking screenshots of your message. I'm going to click on this message from a coworker, which you can see by the red icon here, has a restriction applied. I'm currently recording my screen, so as soon as his message is in view, my recording turns black, preventing me from capturing any of the content in his message. I am able to record the screen of my own message because I have rights to that content as the message creator. So when I click back on my own message, the recording returns. It's worth noting that this only works with the Outlook client, so if your recipient is using the OWA app or another mail service like Gmail, they will not have forwarding abilities, but they might still be able to capture the content in the body of your message. It's always a good idea to make sure you're sending confidential information only to a trustworthy source. Even if your recipient is using the Outlook client, nothing can prevent a recipient from recreating your content manually. Now I'm going to navigate to the Gmail account where I've sent this message. So we can see how this works without the Outlook client. In Gmail, I've received a notification about the email with a link to view the message. When I click read the message, I have two options. I can either sign in to view the message or sign in with a one-time passcode. If your recipient chooses sign in with a one-time passcode, they'll get this page that lets them know to check their inbox for the access code. I'm going to go back to the Gmail inbox and copy this code. Then I can enter it here to see the message. And this is the message I sent from my Outlook client earlier. You'll notice that in this window, I'm able to reply or reply all, but the option to forward the message has been grayed out. That's how you apply an information rights management policy to a message in Outlook with Office 365.